Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here today to talk about mods for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Obviously with the release right around the corner, the big thing on most people's minds I would say is performance and how is the sim going to perform on your system? Well, as you know, we have a lot of mods that help us in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in terms of performance. And my question is, is which one of those mods are going to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? And what are they going to do? So we've got a couple that we want to talk about today, specifically the frame gen mod, auto FPS, the map enhancement mod, and lossless scaling. Now the first mod that we're going to talk about is the frame gen mod. And this has been an extremely helpful mod for a lot of people in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And what it does, it brings AMD's FSR technology basically to NVIDIA graphics card users. It's pretty much plug and play. It takes a little bit of fiddling with sometimes to get it to work properly. But once you get it set up, it's, a, it's an extremely helpful mod. Do we know if it's going to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? We don't know off the bat. I've looked around to see if there's any information, if anybody tried it during the tech alpha. And to my knowledge, nobody did. And there's no information right now about whether this is going to work or not in 2024. My guess is, my best guess is that it is going to work. It's just going to take a little bit of time, perhaps, once the sim is released for the mod developers to get it up and running. And I think within, I would, my guess is within about two weeks of the sim coming out, I think we will probably have an updated version of this mod for use in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There is the outside chance, of course, that we're not going to need it. I tend to doubt that. I do think that the new sim is going to be easier on people's systems. I think it's going to be uh, more FPS friendly, shall we say. But the frame gen mod is still going to be a desirable mod in Flight Sim 2024, and I do think eventually it will work. Next up is the Auto FPS app. This is a write up on msfsaddons.com, wonderful website if you guys are not familiar with it. A lot of excellent Flight Sim information available for the community on this website. The Auto FPS mod is pretty unique. And it's actually been developed even further since the most re recent video that I did on it. And I just haven't had time to review the updated version. The short story is what it does, it allows you to set a target FPS that you want to achieve in the sim. And then it changes various settings and various values in the sim to enable you to be able to attain that FPS target that you're looking for. The really neat thing about auto FPS is the variety of things that you can change, the different settings, the different scenarios in which it works. The latest version, which again, I haven't gotten to unfortunately, includes changing FPS based on whether you're over mountainous terrain that is quickly changing. And it also has a night setting, the newest version. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Asobo and Microsoft have added an auto FPS like setting for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. The thing is, it's a rather lazy version of that setting. And what I think the auto FPS like version in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, the native version in Flight Simulator 2024 is going to do is simply going to reduce your TLOD to achieve your target frame rate. And that's pretty lame. I mean, you can do that yourself. If you want 30 frames per second and you're only getting 25 on average, if you drop your TLOD, you're eventually going to get to that 30 frames per second. The biggest difference between the actual auto FPS program, which is brought to us by Reset Transponder, fantastic 
developer who's done a ton of work on this program for nothing, for free. The biggest difference between what he has done and the native version that's going to be in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is how customizable the Auto FPS app is. As I said before, you can change all kinds of different things different scenarios you can change settings on the ground you can change settings in the climb or descent to get you different fps targets you can change settings so that so that it stabilizes once you're on an approach below a certain altitude which gives you consistency as you're coming down on an approach on landing so that you get good performance and smooth performance as you're coming into land so there's all kinds of wonderful things in the actual auto FPS app. Again, the native version in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, to my best guess, is not going to do that. It's just going to reduce TLOD, boost your performance. And look, there's something to be said for that. It's what they use on Xbox, why they didn't bring it to the PC version of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 to begin with is beyond me, but they didn't. The fact that they're going to offer it in Flight Simulator 2024 is great. However, do I think the Auto FPS app is still going to be relevant for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024? Yes, I do. It is possible still technically to implement in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There is a little bit of a technical challenge that differentiates 2024 from 2020 whether that is going to be overcome is a question that remains open at this time and i could be wrong about the native implementation in microsoft flight simulator 2024 it may be better than i give it credit for i tend to doubt that so we'll see this one in all likelihood will take a little bit more time to get to first of all to establish whether it's needed or not and second of all, to get it working. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the native implementation looks like and we'll go from there. Now the next one we wanna talk about is the map enhancement mod. Now this one I can pretty comfortably say is gonna work just fine for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It may take a few days to a week to two weeks to get it set up by the developer, but I'm quite confident that this app is going to work. It may work right out of the box. And what does the map enhancement mod do? Map enhancement mod simply replaces the Bing maps, the native maps in the simulator with either the updated Bing maps or with Google maps, or there are a couple other map options available actually within the mod. It's a fairly simple change, fairly simple replacement to update this app. I think it's going to work just fine. The question with this app is, are we going to want to use it? Because the thing about it is, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is going to bring us new maps. And that's what this app does. The difference is, the new maps in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 are run through an AI process which removes things like clouds from the satellite images. One of the big drawbacks of the map enhancement mod, pretty, pretty much the only drawback of the map enhancement mod, is the fact that if there are clouds overlaid on the satellite image, then those clouds are going to show up in your sim overlaid over the visuals that you are seeing. Now, there's not a lot of that to be to be honest because obviously you know Bing and Google they don't want clouds overlaying their maps when you're looking at their imagery online anyway so most of that has been you know they'll they'll use maps that were or they'll use images that were taken on clear days and there's just not going to be map overlays and you can see here a lot of these comparison images that I'm showing you do not have any clouds overlaid on top of them however that could still be the case. And the maps that are gonna be used in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, like I said, are updated maps. They have been gone through, they've been run through this AI process that removes any clouds or anything that's going to negatively impact the visuals in any way. So my guess is 
for most of us, really what we're going to want to use is the native Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 maps. I think this map enhancement mod is likely to be a bit less relevant in 2024. I could be wrong. There are people who still love the, the Google Maps in particular. Um, so we'll see. And the last mod we're going to want to talk about is lossless scaling. And lossless scaling actually isn't a mod, it's an app. And the great thing about lossless scaling is I can tell you with 100% confidence that lossless scaling is going to work for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. How do I know that? Because lossless scaling works on any program. Literally any Windows program can use lossless scaling. Because what lossless scaling does, it doesn't work on the sim level. It doesn't have anything to do with taking imagery from the sim and adding extra frames to that or, or multiplying the frames or anything like that. Lossless scaling works simply on what is being displayed on your monitor. You can use, you can use lossless scaling on YouTube videos. You can use lossless scaling on movies. You can use lossless scaling on any game. So this is really kind of the secret card we have up our sleeves in terms of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 performance. We know without any question, lossless scaling will work. Lossless scaling will work day one and lossless scaling will be as good in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 as it is in Flight Simulator 2020. So whatever performance you're getting with lossless scaling in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, if you wanna match that performance in Flight Sim 2024, you're gonna be able to do that, and you're gonna be able to do that basically without changing anything. If lossless scaling is working for you right now, you are golden in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And the other beautiful thing, of course, about lossless scaling, lossless scaling costs $6.99 US cents. It is the best $7 you are ever gonna spend on flight sim performance. So that's really excellent to know that lossless scaling is going to work. So that's what's great about lossless scaling. We know it's gonna work and we're gonna be able to use it in Flight Sim 2024. So that's an overview of the four basically most important mods and apps that we're gonna be looking at in Flight Simulator 2024, looking to use the Frame Gen mod, Auto FPS, the Map Enhancement mod, and lossless scaling. There's some uncertainty on the first three, although I do believe ultimately the first three will all work. More uncertainty on the frame gen mod and auto FPS rather than the map enhancement mod. Loss of scaling will work, no questions asked. So the question is gonna be just once we get the sim on Tuesday and get it up and running, look, if the performance is great out of the box, perhaps we don't need any of these mods and that would ultimately be the ideal situation. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am for all of this. I am really jazzed up and looking forward to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And I look forward to hearing what you guys think. And we will talk soon.